Alright guys, good morning Mr. G, rolling out of bed, bringing myself some coffee, you some cross out, and today it's build competition time, but it's a little twist, you guys had to build leviathans, any old leviathan you wanted to build, we're going to take a look at them, we're going to take a peek, we're going to test drive them, we're going to blow up some bots, and we're going to pick a winner. Which one ever is most creative or tickles my fancy. And I'm going to go ahead and get that person a Steam key. If you're saying, I want to do a Mr. G build comp, look at the Discord link in the description. Join the server. See what kind of competitions there are and cross out for you to jump on in and get involved in. Now, I'm not going to go through every build at the beginning because I like to reveal Leviathans one at a time. So we're going to tease these out one at a time, starting with Military Rig. All right, let's assemble this thing. All right, what is this thing? This one is coming to me from the King's Wit. Let's take a little peek at this bad boy. It is an absolutely just massive broadside cannon, Mad Maxian Leviathan that looks like it's just ready to go clean house. Let's take it for a little test drive. Can you guys imagine how much fun it would be if we had a Leviathan mode? <laughs> we could just, each team got one Leviathan and uh, the rest are regular players. And you just had to drive, you know, and either get your Leviathan to the other person's capture point. Something like that. That would be a lot of fun. And it's just, it's just so fun just driving something massive like this, like a land ship. All your guns just auto target and fire. But they could go ahead and even add in something like the Caucasus or the Annihilator where you could select targets uh, and your guns would try and auto fire on those targets. Something to think about, Tarjim. I know you teased around with the idea during Clan Wars, so we know it is theoretically possible. Alright, so that was Military Rig by the King's Wit. Next up, we have... What do we have? We have Kurakami Horizon by Madaka Kurakami. There's a very, like, diesel, punky, like, big rig here. Look at the nice fendering and angling here of all of the structural parts on this thing to just make it look really, really clean. When instead of a focus on cannons, on this one we have a focus on MGs. So we got a nice little machine gun truck here. Let's take this girl for a drive. I like the cab. I really like the way the cab was made on this one. Just looks like a military vehicle all around. Just like a big machine gun boat. I dig it. I dig it. Look at this bad boy. We're shooting at all kinds of stuff. Alright, very cool. Yeah, stupid noob. I know, we're buddies. Next up on our list... Number three, Steppen Transports. This one coming from Cloud Striker 94 Thank you for your longtime Patreon support, friend. I really do appreciate it. Look at this thing. We got one of everything on here. Slapped on here. A little bit of everything. We even got the car jack. Looks kind of like a convoy vehicle. All right. Let's go see how well this thing shoots and spams death. Can you guys imagine how nice it would be if we had a hinge piece so we could build real trailers? that had a joint built in. I think we would all like that, Tarjum. If the game engine can handle it, I imagine that it could. We'll see. We'll see. Well, I like the little treads. We got a little step side for the trailer there. Nice touch. All right, what do we got here? We have SX95 Guardian by Skull 606. It looks like kind of a big bus. I must be missing some sort of decor part there. To hold that on. Maybe I don't have enough of these new bits um, that they've given out, which is strange. Just move this sucker so it fits, because otherwise it'll drive me nuts. This looks like something you would expect to see in, I don't know, like a very poor military world. It's got just the one, the one turret up there. I like how the fenders are protecting the turret up there. That looks nice. It's classy. We got a ton of drones is what this bad boy is. It is a Leviathan drone boat. But excellent use of fender bits and triangular bits uh, to build the hood and the cab on this. I mean, look at that. We got Founder, Steppenwolf in there. Very nice. Very nice. All right, next up we have Armored Convoy coming from Berkey Turkey. Berkey always manages to wow me with the things that he can build. Look at that. So it's essentially one build 
connected by frames made to look like three builds. Very, very cool. Look at this thing. Look at it. It is a convoy all by itself. Super creative. Nice use of the really thin frames there to pull this one off. Really slick all around. I'm digging this Berkey. Very creative. Very, very creative. Imagine how fun we would have if the Leviathans could be used in PvP. Oh my god, it would be so fun. So you can see they've not implemented wedge mechanics yet at all. Hopefully those get sorted soon. Alright. I'm going to be honest on this one. Battle Taxi by Salt. Um, this looks like a regular build, man. So this looks like a regular old tank, but I guess... Yeah, it's only using 46 parts, but you know what? We're here, and we had 10 entries today. We're going to let this one go. Although, I got to say, after driving a three-vehicled convoy of death, a tank with an auto cannon is uh, coming in a little bit underwhelming. All right, what do we got here? What do we have here? We have uh, da -da -da, Eradication 11 from Green Titan Co. Look at that. It's got a giant fake laser gun. Coming out of two mandrakes, all on big rooms. Yes, please. Let's drive it. Let's take her for a drive. Is she going to fit out? Look at this thing. This looks like something out of an anime film. I love it. I love it. We even got a harvester in the front. We got a, our mandrakes have decided to wake up. Nice mandrakes. Look at this thing. It's like a futuristic laser death boat. Uh, I gotta say, Big Room's work for this. Let's, feel, let's go to Big Room leg mode, yeah? Look at this. Look at this. Oh my god, I wish I could shoot the gun on the front. I wish. It's amazing. Look at that thing. Alright, next up we have Battleship. Shoip. Coming from our very own Kenny. One of our Discord server moderators. Look at this thing. Look at it. Looks like a World War II... Battleship, can it drive? Uh, it cannot, sadly, but it does look very cool. Spamming death out the front. Look at it go. Look at it. Look at all the radars and lights and towers on the conning tower. Very nice details there, Kenny. Next up, we have Milibu Osprey from That Guy in the Corner. Fun fact, my brother actually worked on the team that tested the Osprey for the uh, Department of Defense. So he was always talking about this particular plane. Oh man, don't get me started. But very nice. We got a couple of props. We got a nice cab. We've got some dicker, stickers, detailing, etc. We got our wings on there. Obviously, this is another one that is an art one and is not going to be driving anywhere on its own. And last but not least, we have Tiny Miwitawi. Tiny Mi Tiny Military. You just wanted me to say Miwitawi uh, from Danger Soul. And oh my god, look at it. Just this Danger Soul, you legend. It's an entire military base. Just down from the beacons to get in. The verifier as a bunker. Scout Towers Warehouse or a military base. Another little base and bunker. The command center over here. This is so creative. As someone who loves Lego, uh, I just, I love everything about this little factory, repair bench, door, cargo truck, military convoy. Oh my god, I love it so much, Danger Soul. You have absolutely won this build competition, hands down. This is one of the most creative Leviathans or builds I have seen in Crossout. Absolutely love it. And the name made me chuckle. My friend, I can't drive this over the jump. But we're going to just continue to look at this as we close out today's video. Please, Danger Soul, it's been a while, but DM me on Discord. I owe you a prize. I owe you a Steam game. I'm going to get that to you. And the role of winner, winner, chicken dinner for winning a build competition. This thing was beautiful.
Thank you for sharing it, friendo. You guys stay safe out there in the wasteland. Thank you guys for supporting me in these videos and being loyal subscribers and watching all of these. Couldn't do it without you guys. Thank you so much. I'm going to go ahead and actually park this thing in the bunker, so I'm going to catch you guys in the next one. Hey, can I check in? Here's my ID. Thank you. Where do you want me to park it? I can't get through the gate. I can't get through the gate. I'm stuck. Mr. G out.